Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Love the Makeup Artist, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Today we are going to be playing with the Violet Voss Violet Sunset Palette. I'm really excited to play with this palette. She is filled with corals, purples, champagnes. Here, I'll, like, I'll hold it up so you guys can see. She's, she's a cutie, okay? Anywho, without further ado, I'm gonna quickly throw on some brows using the Ofra Cosmetics um, Semi-Permanent Eyebrow Gel inside a dark blonde. Um, I'm just gonna throw them on off camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty, now that we have the eyebrows carved out, we are actually going to be going in with some, uh, yeah, we're going to be using concealer instead of the paint early today, just because lots of these shades are a lot more on the sheer side, and I know paint early oxidizes on my skin. I've seen it before, like under studio lights, it's not as noticeable, but in person, oh god, is it noticeable, looking like an oompa loompa behind my fucking eyes. Anywho, oh god. Aggressively attack. Anywho, so we're using the Ofra Cosmetics Perfect Cover. This is their Fair Ivory. I love it for the fact that it like actually covers the discoloration behind my eyes. I find my discoloration can be pretty, pretty aggressive at times. And so I love that she can actually cover that, neutralize it. And it also has the right undertones for my skin that I've noticed. So once you have the concealer kind of just placed where you want it, I have it blended in, as you can see. It does crease a little bit, but that's just because I haven't set it. I am going to use a fluffy brush. I have no clue who this is from. I think it's, um, it's a Moda brush. It is the crease brush. I got this inside of a boxy charm, so that's why I don't really know where my brushes come from. And I'm going to be placing that all over the crease and emphasizing mostly at the back. Hopefully I'm not picking up too much of the concealer off because that's not what we're going for. We're going for having that light wash of vanilla. Could also just be darker than my skin. It is a cream looking shade, but like, it is a beige, a peachy beige. Once we have that placed down, we're going to go into the shade Desert Sand. This time I'm going to go in with a smaller fluffy brush. This one's from Morphe and 456. We have a couple of these guys, but they're also very clean because we're being very clean this year. We're just brushing that upper lash line. We're just smoking it out across. And repeat on the other side. Now, using the smaller fluffy brush, we're going to go into the shade Sunset. Sunset is more on the darker, kind of blushy, kind of coral side. And we're just going to focus it mainly at this back corner. And smoke it out with the other brush. that corner. Now do the same thing on the other eye. Now that we have this pink wash across the eyes, we're going to dip in violet shade that is called lilac in the palette. And I'm actually going to still use that little 456 that has like all the other colors. And we're just going to tap it mainly near the middle, brushing it slightly back towards that blushy sunset shade that we just popped on. And repeat on the other side. Now using the same fluffy brush that is the cleaner of the two, we're going to blend the blush into the lilac. 
Now that we have this kind of like little base set down, this is gonna be kind of like a smoky, like smoky purple look, okay. So we're gonna dip into what is called Violet Sunset. It is the titular, titular, how do you say it? Whatever, shade of the palette. So this one's like a nice shimmer. I'm using a clean finger, this is my middle finger. And as you can see, she's a very pretty like purple hollow. Anyway, we're just going to be placing it over the center, brushing it back towards that corner. We're making an ombre effect essentially. Okay. I know, it'd be looking crazy. But wiping that off on our makeup eraser, I actually got one. One of them damp on the side here today because I couldn't find my makeup wipes. So that's a problem. <laughs> but we're just going to quickly blend this in using the same clean brush. Okay, we're going to be dipping in now with another clean finger. It is going to be the shade Peach. Peach is a shimmery champagne with a peach undertone in the palette and it is a light shimmer reflective as well and we're going to be tapping that close to the corner of the eye towards the violet sunset we just laid down. Repeat on the other eye. Using that fluffy brush again, we're going to blend the two shimmers together. Once you have it how you like it, you can then line your eyes. So using the Ofra Verified Black Liquid Liner, this one has like a brush bristle tip, we're going to use that and line our eyes, okay? I'm gonna go for like a little baby wing I hope today. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> but we're gonna try our best, okay? A baby wing is what you consider a wing that is not like super big and like flashy. If you want more of a graphic wing, that is what you can call it. Anywho, I'm going to repeat this on the other side and then we're also going to be using some of the Ofra HD Voluminizing Black Mascara. And both of these products are not sponsored. However, I did receive this one as a free gift. And this one I purchased with a gift card I received from the brand. So if you call that sponsorship, that's you. I don't consider it sponsored because they don't expect me to show these products in a video. I'm just using them because I like them. So take it as what you want to call it. Okay, I'll be back. Alrighty, so now that we have the lashes on, it's time to do the rest of the face. Honestly, I know it's controversial, but I like to do my lashes first just so it has enough time to properly dry before I set my face. And so, yeah, they gonna be in place until the end of this face. All right, so first product I'm going to be using is something that was gifted to me by the company when I worked back for Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, this is the Smashbox Halo. This is their uh, pomegranate. This is a like sheer, like could be used for the lips, could be used for the cheeks kind of product. Okay, she's very dark. <laughs> it's like kind of startling. <laughs> it's almost like blood, but I promise it's not. That's just what she looked like. <laughs> Okay, I think that's an more, more than enough, kinda. I don't really use this one. I just, cause it looks like the color of my face when my face is irritated. And so I couldn't tell if my face is irritated or if it was just the, just the product being too good at what it does, <laughs> right? Like it just looks like my skin's irritated, but it's not. We're good, this is just pomegranate, okay? 
she is very dark, okay? Put some over the nose, make it all copacetic. Alrighty, now that we're blushing. I also find, okay, the reason why I like to use like a sheer, especially when I have pimples, is because it makes the whole area as red as that pimple. I know that sounds kind of crazy, like why, why would you do that, Lauren? Well, it's because when I put the foundation on, which I'm doing next, I'm going to be able to cover it and it's gonna look a little bit more like the rest of the skin around it. Anywho. We're going to be mixing Ofer Cosmetics Absolute Cover Foundation in number zero with Laura Mercier's Illuminating Pure Canvas Primer. I could use, I have Miss Monroe, like a, an illuminator also from Ofer Cosmetics, but to be honest, I already used so much product from Ofra and that one's new. Like I just bought it like a month ago. While this Laura Mercier, I need to use it up. It's, it's getting to its last few days of her life, okay? She's kind of oily, even when I shake it up. Whatever that means. Just kidding. Also, my Morphe brushes are starting to fall apart. This is my Morphe M439 brush. We're going to mix the two products together on the back of my hand. Yeah, like that's super oily, what the heck? That's fine, that's fine. We're just gonna brush it on. buffing as we go. As you can see, when you put the primer mixed into the foundation, it shears it out almost to like a medium coverage foundation, which is usually my go-to, so. Now that my face is pretty much, pretty much buffed, I'm gonna use like a more fibrous kind of a duo fiber brush. We're just gonna stipple. Just to kind of press that into my pores. Giving me a studio finish. Once we are satisfied with that, we can go ahead and put on some concealer. We're gonna be using the brushes that we used earlier, as well as the same Perfect Cover Concealer from Ofra Cosmetics. Alrighty, once you have it placed where you want, go ahead and blend. Once I have that mostly blended in, we're gonna go back in with like that first buffing brush and buff in the edges. See how that kind of gives you like a seamless, luminous kind of finish. Beautiful. Same thing again, grabbing that duo fibrous just to further blend it all in. If you take a look, there's virtually like no product on there. Whatever's on there is picked up from the skin. You could do a beauty blender for that. I'm not knocking beauty blenders. So the next product that we are going to be using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Translucent Setting Powder. She's just much setting powder of the moment, girls. To be honest, my favorite setting powder would actually have to be the Fenty Beauty Li Lilac or Lavender Powder, mostly for the fact that it's a lilac powder, it's like purple undertone, which is something that I kind of like to have since I'm so pale. I find it doesn't oxidize orange because it's the opposite, it's literally the complementary contrast, orange is purple or, well, 
Red is purple, but orange is blue. But still, regardless, the purpley blue undertone is what cuts it. Set a little bit extra because I wear glasses, so we're gonna be putting the glasses back on after this, so I. Now that I'm happily covered, as you can see, the, the red did, oh, that's a little, I can see that, that's how white that is. Anywho, um, as you can see, this pimple is virtually, like, she's virtually gone. It's going to be covered up with a little bit of contour powder anyways, so it's not going to be that visible. Not to mention, most people don't really care about acne these days anyways. I remember back when I was in high school and stuff, fuck, having pimples or anything show was just social, unaliving. And so that's one thing that you just had to make sure you were covered and like plastered with makeup. So when I was in 2016, like school and everything, like, yeah, it, it was something that we were plastering ourselves, caking on makeup. Now that like there's like the whole like free the skin, free the pimple moment, like, Thank you. Thank you. This is gonna help sisters that need that. <laughs> the next product we're going to be using, I'm going to use the Morphe E4. This is their angled, I think it's a contour brush. I don't actually know. But we're going to go in with the Liss, um, sorry, that's very reflective. The Liss um, No Limits Matte Bronzer. I haven't used this one in a hot minute. It's been a moment. But we're going to place it in my diamond zones. Because you can take the powder brush just to blend that out when you go a little too dark. Alrighty, the next product I'm going to go in with is the NARS Orgasm Blush. She's a cult classic lovelies. She's a pink shimmery sheer but buildable blush, okay? And I'm going to be using my Luxie 514 blush. Yeah, 514 blush brush. So we're just gonna place that on the apples, okay? And this, because of the Smashbox, it should hopefully bring some of the darkness or like the red that's underneath, should kind of pick up with the sheer blush that we are using. But even if you exaggerate it, because there's purple on the eyes, it kind of pulls the look away from the cheeks anyways, say. Now that we have our blush down, the next part is highlighter. The highlighter I chose for today is from Ofra Cosmetics because your girl's a stan, okay? And this is actually the Rodeo Drive or Rodeo Drive, however you pronounce it. Up here in Canada, I know we call it Rodeo. Rodeo. Calgary. Calgary Stampede and Rodeo. Okay, so for me, I'm like, it's Rodeo Drive, but they pronounce it Rodeo Drive down, down in Florida. Florida, so... Anyways, we're gonna roll it in the glitter like a happy chinchilla, because I'm loving saying that. That's kind of fun. And I have to tap out because this glow is gliss. Like, she speaks for herself. <laughs> and we're just going to blush, or brush that over the blush. Oh my god, I keep stumbling over those two words today. I love gleaming. 
The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Morphe M456, the one that we've been utilizing the most, and we're going to brush whatever's left underneath the eye. We're going to dip back into the Violet Boss, back into that peach shade, and taking a little bit on a clean finger, we're going to tap that in the inner corner on the bottom lash line. I think I've wrapped it up for both eyes. Yeah, it's a little bit more for that eye. To kind of like, that kind of brings the looks together, if you can kind of tell. Like, makes my lids look copacetic, like they're meant to look like that. Now I need to quickly clean up because there's concealer everywhere. Okay, so I went ahead and picked my lip combo off camera. We're gonna go in with the St. Luc Smorganite pencil. I'll link her in the duo that it's in down below. I can't make money off that one, don't worry. Um, some of my links are affiliate links, okay? The Amazon ones are most likely an affiliate link. Stating that in this video because I also disclaim it in the description but all my links down below are available for most if not all the products anywho let's pick a lip so we're going to be using the ofer cosmetics this is their pro lip palette okay this is their berries and nudes they used to have a second one but i don't know where it went on the website so it might have got taken down i don't know i want it back i want lips <laughs> you hear me ofra i want lips so we're gonna go for this like more on the berry shade down here which is 110 wild berry okay anyways we'll link it down below and i'm gonna go off camera to quickly line my lips and pop on my lip okay guys so this is the final look let me know what you think okay okay anywho if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for sticking around if you haven't already like and subscribe because what are you waiting for i've got more videos to make okay anywho I love you all so much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you, thank you so much for sticking around. But yeah, enough of me. Bye! My one hand was like kind of resting there. I don't know why. It was like minding a shelf. You can call it a larger wing. More bold wing. Okay. But this, this is baby wing. A baby wing is baby. It's small. Oh my god. Where's that concealer coming from? Anyways. Anyways. The color that we are going to choose for today. Because we're using a brown lip pencil. So we can go for more of like a kind of like berry kind of color. Or even like a cocoa-y color. Like I kind of see this one up here in the top, top center but I feel like that might take away from the look.